How's it going everyone? My name is Falling Hurts, and if you know me, you know that I like video games, and that's pretty much any, even if I do have some favorites. One thing that you may not know is that I did enjoy GTA V's story quite a bit, and while I haven't succumbed to any re-releases or any trilogy remakes, I would say, I have been quietly excited for GTA VI. And today we finally got some not confirmed, but pretty concrete and trustworthy news about the game's development. And this actually comes from a Bloomberg article from Jason Schreier, where he talks about both Rockstar's work culture as well as some new details about GTA VI from people who know about the game's development. And while I don't really think that this video is going to pull away any clicks or views or anything like that, it's important to note that there's a lot I'm going over because it's not important to the video at hand. However, it is very important to note that a lot of changes are being made at Rockstar that is better for the game and better for game developers. So go ahead and go and look at the article if that's what you're into and the kind of work culture. But the main idea that you're needing to take away is that employee morale is the best that it's been for years at Rockstar, which is really good news seeing as how apparently it was a pretty bad environment during Red Dead 2 and GTA 5. And while this is great news, it is important to note that the game is taking way longer to develop than any of the long-term employees had expected or ever wanted. And part of this is considered to be due to COVID, but other workflow change-ups that have been relatively good have taken time into development as well. Now, before we begin, the absolute most important thing you need to know about this is that developers familiar with the game's development expect the game to release in about two years' time. So you're looking at 2024, 2025, give or take, which is an insane amount of development time because I'm pretty sure the game's been in development since like 2014. But with that being said, let's break down the actual new details of GTA 6 and how it will be different from previous games. And first up's the big one. GTA 6 will feature a female playable protagonist for the first time, and she's a Latina, and once again we'll have two main characters, so we'll be able to switch back and forth, ideally. And this is going to be a relationship that's influenced by Bonnie and Clyde. So potentially it's two people in a relationship, which is pretty cool, I guess. Other things that are important to know is that the work title for the project is known as Americas, which kind of indicates that this could be multi-country or multinational, which would be very interesting, especially given the fact that the character or one of the protagonists is Latina. The main location for the game is the fictional version of Miami, which, don't quote me on this part, I could be completely wrong, but isn't that just Vice City? Isn't that the idea of that? And it also says it's surrounding areas as well. So interesting to note there, but the game will evolve over time, adding new cities. Now this comes off of the news that the game will be not live service, but growing much like Fortnite and something that Assassin's Creed Infinity also wants to do, adding in new environments and things like that over the course of the game. Not just through the campaign per se, but over quite literal time like post launch support. But supposedly the game is already pretty large with more interior locations than previous GTA games, which honestly, even if you just played five, that's not a lot. There's a couple stores that you can rob and that's about it, with a few things getting added to GTA Online. But really, that's all we know. It's not a lot, but given the news prior about how the post-launch support for the game will be an ever-evolving map, I think this is pretty interesting, and I'm really excited to see how this plays out. There's been plenty of rumors about the game being set in like the 80s or something like that, and that's never something that's been confirmed, and I don't really believe that to be true. I think it's just going to be current timeline. But there is one final bit of news in the article that wasn't brought up by people tweeting about it that I thought was kind of interesting. Due to the changes being made at Rockstar, a lot of people are saying, go woke, get broke, which is stupid, it's dumb. But one important thing to note, and I think this is nice, kind of, is that they're not going to be making jokes about marginalized people anymore, something that is not the case in previous games, and they have went in to edit out transphobic jokes from GTA V in their re-releases. So that's, you know, that's fine. I never really thought trans jokes were funny or anything like that, so I'm fine with it. You know, it doesn't really need to be in the game. It's just hurtful, I guess, in the end. If it's not funny at all, like, if there's something funny to say, shit, say it, you know what I mean? But if it's not funny, which I don't think it ever was, it only serves to hurt people, and that's just no fun. And so yeah, that's everything we know about GTA 6, which isn't a lot, but I guess that means that we'll continue the structure of the multi-protagonist storylines, and hopefully that means that at some point throughout the game we'll be able to explore different locations all around the country, you know, maybe even go back to Los Santos, different things like that. I would really love to see that. What are you excited to see in GTA 6? Let me know down below because that's really it. I'm Falling Hurts. Normally my videos are a little bit longer than this as I cover games with more information, but hey, you know, we don't really have too much for this, so um, go ahead and consider subscribing. I usually 
kind of cover horror games, but right now I'm doing this kind of longer series breaking down the info we know about Redfall, the Xbox and Arcane game. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, yeah, bye.